Is there a difference between a sports psychologist and a sports hypnotist? And if so, what is it? Sports psychologists deal with the conscious mind, which is the state that everybody's in now. You're able to uh, uh, decipher information. You have a critical capacity. You can evaluate. You have a reasoning capacity. Sports hypnotherapists deal with the unconscious mind. I'll give you a very, very quick example of that between the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. What do the letters P-O-L-K spell? Polk. Polk. What's the yeah. white of an egg called? Yo, yo. What do the letters S-T-O-O-P spell? Stoop. Stoop. What do you do with a green light? Stop. Stop. What do the letters R-O-A-S-T spell? Roast. What do you put in a toaster? Toast. Okay. Do I hypnotize? <laughs> okay, well, look, listen to the responses. In a toaster, you don't put toast, you put bread. <laughs> At a green light, you don't stop, you, you go. go. And the white <laughs> of an egg is not, is not the yolk, it's the egg white. Whoa. But without... <laughs> Yeah, without, without, listen, without thinking about it, you just responded based upon an right. unconscious assumption. Now, if you take that onto the field, you have to think about the thoughts, the feelings, and the past kinds of memories and emotions that a player brings out there. In certain situations, without thought, they react. And my job is to help them remove the negatives and strictly deal in a positive, powerful state of mind. Wow. wow.